Are you looking for the best 3D printers? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. An iCubic Cobra 2. Among the things we look for in an entry-level 3D printer are a low price, ease of setup and use, largely problem-free operation, and solid print quality. The iCubic Cobra 2 ticks off all these boxes, plus it's one of the fastest 3D printers we've tested. It lists at just $279 and is easy to use, too, with a unique extruder made to print as fast as possible. For software, it works with the popular open source Cura program we've seen with numerous other 3D printers, but it also comes with the Prusa Slicer app with tons of editing options for new and advanced users. This iCubic printer is great for newbies thanks to its bargain price, easy setup, and fast operation. Although its output in our tests was nearly misprint free, print quality was unspectacular, with detailing that makes it a less than optimal choice for intermediate or expert users. Still, it's a fine, low-risk first platform for those getting their feet wet in 3D printing. Number 2. Creality Ender 3S1 Pro The Creality Ender 3S1 Pro provides good value in an open-frame 3D printer, offering a large print area for its price. Although the S1 Pro comes in kit form, it's largely pre-assembled, so it should be easy enough for even a non-techie to put together and it produced quality prints in our testing. For software, you can use either Cura or the company's own Creality Slicer. The Ender 3S1 Pro works with a variety of filament types, including PLA, ABS, PETC, PAR, Wood Composite, and TPU. Its print bed leveling process, which combines manual and automatic routines, proved slightly cumbersome, but it was easier than on other Creality printers we have reviewed. Setup instructions could be better, and the diagrams are cramped, but fortunately some third-party sites offer useful videos and other getting acquainted help. The Ender 3S1 Pro is aimed at 3D printing newcomers with a DIY mindset, as well as tinkerers on a budget. If you're looking for a plug-and-play 3D printer to get up and running as quickly as possible, you should look elsewhere as print bed leveling can be a challenge. That said, you do learn a lot about how 3D printers work by assembling your own, even with a relatively simple kit like this one. Number 3. MakerBot Replicator Plus The MakerBot Replicator Plus produced prints of good to excellent quality in our testing. It has a wide range of connectivity choices, you can print from a computer over USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi as well as over Wi-Fi from a phone or tablet with the MakerBot mobile app installed. You can also print files from a USB thumb drive. MakerBot provides its own software, which can be tailored to a user's experience level. Although the Replicator Plus is an open frame printer, the extruder nozzle is placed in back of the extruder assembly and is hard to reach, minimizing the risk of a user being accidentally burned by touching the hot nozzle. The Replicator Plus is a good fit for product designers, architects, and engineers, as well as small businesses, schools, and community centers not to mention individuals with money to spare who are looking for a high-quality 3D printer. MakerBot's latest releases, the Method and Method X, have larger build areas and can produce prints to meet exacting engineering standards, but they are much pricier. The Replicator Plus is a more affordable general-purpose model that should appeal to a wider audience. Number 4. Ultimaker S5 the Ultimaker S5 costs a pretty penny, but you get a lot for its premium price. A 3D printer geared to professionals, the S5 has a large build area for a closed frame printer and packs dual extruders, letting you print with two filament colors or types. To that end, it comes with one spool of tough PLA, polylactic acid, and one of polyvinyl alcohol, PVA. The latter a water-soluble filament commonly used as a temporary support material during printing for complex objects. Moreover, it is easy to set up and operate. The S5 can connect to a PC via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, 
and you can print objects from a USB thumb drive inserted into its forward-facing port. It uses the familiar Cure open source printing software that Ultimaker now manages. The S5 is a good choice for product designers, engineers, architects, and others in need of a machine that can consistently churn out high-quality prototypes or models, and who have the money to spend on a printer to bring that ability in-house. Its dual extruders let you print in two colors or with multiple filament types. Its cubic print area is large for a closed-frame printer, and it churned out good to excellent quality prints in our testing. Number 5. Toy Box 3D Printer the Toy Box 3D printer is a device that kids can enjoy with minimal supervision and use to output some nifty toys. A parent will be needed for initial setup, which involves setting up a free account, downloading an app, and syncing your device with the printer, and there should always be an adult around during use by younger children. You can print from a mobile device or through a browser. Selecting printable objects from toy boxes generous selection or designing your own. Printing proved smooth, with no misprints. Filament-wise, it's PLA only, which is the best choice for beginners. The Toy Box 3D printer is designed for use by children and young people. Toy Box Labs suggests a minimum age of 5, as well as adult supervision. The printer should be fun for people of any age. Printing with it is a good activity to bring parents and children together. You can import and print 3D files from outside its seeker system, but the process can be tricky. That, combined with its minuscule build area and the fact that its filament is limited to PLA, make the toy box a specialty printer unsuitable for general use, but it's a great choice for its young target audience. Number 6. Lulz Bot Mini 2. Easy to set up and operate. The Lulzbot Mini 2 is an open-frame 3D printer capable of printing with a variety of filament types. The Mini 2 supports direct USB connection with a computer, and adds SD card connectivity. It uses thick filament, 2.85 mm, often rounded to 3 mm in descriptions, available on the Lulzbot site and elsewhere. Easy to set up and use. The Mini 2 employs the popular and effective open-source Cura printing software. Its overall print quality is solid if not exceptional. The Lulzbot Mini 2 is a good choice for individuals, schools, and community centers thanks to its easy setup and operation. Hobbyists and tinkerers will like its ability to print with a wide variety of filament types. Its build volume is on the small side for an open-frame printer, and its print quality is only average, so professionals such as product designers, architects, and engineers may want to look elsewhere to produce larger and or more exacting models.